Within the euro system, we have been working towards a digital euro. You know, a CBDC, it's the, the project the euro system has embarked itself onto. And as Bank of Italy, we are, you know, working together with other central banks. So to come, you know, go from like a pilot towards a formal decision to embrace uh, a um, digital euro in the coming months. That will be the governing council of the ECB that will decide whether we move forward. So I you know, think that it's going to be very important for the European citizen to have access to a central bank, bank digital money. And that is going to be for everyone, it's going to be inclusive, and it's going to be uh, also for those who do not have a financial or a digital literacy and people with disabilities. So we think that that is the way to go. Mm. So is that part of the key piece of the conversation as we pursue this CBDC pilot program? What is the most important consideration at the moment? Well, that's exactly it. So when you look at the way in which stable coins and private stable coins are coming into the market, the European response is one of creating a central bank digital currency, our euro, which is going to be there hopefully, you know, after the governing council decision soon. And it's going to be something available to everyone. It's going to protect public interest as, you know, differentiated from the private interests that are in the market or wanted to come in onto the market. How about CBDC versus a crypto? Because I was just reading about Coinbase. Um, international expansion plans, eyeing Italian market, European markets, that they're doing this online community thing. Is Italy and European, uh, other countries in Europe, ready for that kind of inroads? Uh, are you embracive of such efforts? But crypto is not money. We call it crypto assets. So it's very different from, you know, a centralized uh, digital currency. So we keep that very separate. They're not onto the same, um, you know, they're not the same sort of, you know, asset. So I think that we need to be extremely careful in putting these, you know, two uh, worlds together. So that is the response that Europe is giving. I think it's very plain.